These are some of my favorite prompts over the last week. They're all anime themed and they just like make really cool looking images. I'm gonna break down how you would emulate this entire vibe and also credits to the original artist that did this, that wrote the prompts. I'm just sharing what they did. Okay, before we start, make sure you subscribe and let's dive in. I fell in love with these prompts and I saved them cause I just wanna see how we can recreate them. So this one kind of gave me an old school anime like feeling. So I saved it, it was more pixel artist, but it does have that kind of like dreamy, it's probably the colors. But yeah, the colors are like this pastelish color, which is, I don't know, just what I think of when I think Studio Ghibli. So this was kind of a good match for that. So I saved that. And these ones were really cool. It's like this comic book type feeling for me. So I really liked this, this whole feeling. The color is distinctly Western. So it's not like completely Japanese Eastern anime, but this is like Western animation, comics and whatnot. Really reminds me of comics I had growing up. And then this one I really liked too. It really got this like old school anime look to it, but also new school at the same time. So it's like, got the best of both worlds. And it's like really relevant for modern day type branding work. Like if you were to have this for an anime Asian marketing NFT project, this would be a hit because it fits and speaks to the audience in the contemporary theme, the way that we do it now. So I really like this. And I think for my experimentation, it's mainly broken down by these artists here and the like Cyber City, Cyberpunk kind of thing style. And the 90s anime, 90s TV cartoon really sets this look in place. I, I, I had to test this one, this was too good. And then this one was really cool too. So it's probably like these artists right here. I wonder if they're the same as the other ones. Honestly, I don't know them too well. Yeah, okay, so different artists. So these artists give it this vibe here, which is like 90s, late 80s maybe. Not so much grain or it doesn't have the like printed feeling to it, but it does remind me of like the late 80s, early 90s, but also with the modern touch to it. It's, it's done really well. The colors remind me of the past, but the lines and the way that it's drawn make me feel like it's something from the present. Okay, so let's go and try these out. So we'll open up Discord. Uh, what are we looking at? Mid-Journey Bot. All right, so Discord, imagine, and we'll put that in. So we'll dissect this right now. 16-bit pixel art, yes, we'll keep that outside of Super Cafe Cozy. So this, we're gonna change to something that we like. Um, highly detailed, cinematic still, HDR, okay. So I'm guessing this is what drives most of the vibe of this image. So we're gonna change this to just lightly keep like the rest of the vibe, but have it in a way that presents what we want to present. So for our case, let's just go, um, I like the beach a lot. Beach town in Hawaii, 16-bit pixel art. All right, let's generate it. And then here would be where you put an aspect ratio too if you want. I typically do, but this is square, so we could go with square. This is a really cool, like, maybe we should do a cozy cafe in Hawaii. That would be pretty sick. Okay, so imagine 16-bit, and then, okay, outside of a super cozy, cozy Hawaiian cafe by the beach. Oh, we already have the beach? Oh man, that looks cool. Okay, let's not do a uh, Hawaiian cafe. Of a cozy Bangkok or Balinese. Balinese would be cool. Cozy Balinese forest. Eh, we should probably do Indonesian. Indonesian rainforest. All right, let's play with this. So here's what we got on our first generation. I think it's pretty cool. Makes me think of Hawaii. Definitely like the top right one. It's like Oahu, maybe right by uh, canoes like Waikiki Beach, right on the beach. I like that. So this next one that we have, the cozy cafe in a rainforest. Oh, this is nice. Damn, look at this third one. Third and fourth, really nice. I like this, I like this vibe a lot. So this one, if you wanna try, it is dope. Okay, this next one here with these artists, Mike Mignoli. Well, let's copy the whole thing and then we'll just edit it. Imagine, prompt, paste it. And then here we go. We'll work backwards from this. So this is probably what's driving the vibe of so the image, so this last part is probably what's mainly driving the vibe of the image, like the landscape, well the, the color, the sunniness, and then these artists. So we'll just keep these and then we'll customize the beginning. This shot is nice though, the from below view, wide angle. 
or low wide angle is a pretty cool shot. Expansive is probably some keyword to have in there too. Circular also creates a nice mood to it. Yeah, so they're setting the scene of this as like a Colosseum type thing, female character in the middle, and then this is the scene outside background. Okay, so we'll keep the first part. Expansive Chinese forest with female native scout and bulbs, huh? With a cyberpunk explorer, explorer, hunter. So this gives it some like potentially holding something. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And then we'll add Chinese rain or just Chinese forest landscape with clouds. It's not very warm there. So let's change this to, mm, let's just let it do its thing. And then the artist, okay, cool. Actually for this one, I would like it to be an aspect ratio of like three by two or 16 by nine. 16 by nine would be pretty cool too. Here's some other ones I did 16 by nine, kind of cinematic looking, but three by two is cool. It's the classic one. Okay, here's what it came up with. Yeah, pretty similar vibe. This is pretty cool too. I definitely certified this prompt. Very cool looking stuff. This could be like, you could definitely have like a caption here or something. Maybe we should do a series on where I take these images and add captions and brand it to look like something. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Okay, the next one we have is this futuristic looking one. Honestly, this is like my highlight one of the week. I really like this one a lot. So let's copy this prompt and try it out. Now, I think this one really stands out from the 90s anime, 90s TV cartoon part of it. Like it creates the vibe along with the artist names in the back right here. So I experimented around with this already because it, it was too good. I honestly really like this. And I think this also adds a bit of like the futuristic look to it, like Dead Space and Ghost in a Shell and some of them, yeah, like Cyber City as well. I was gonna say Cyberpunk. So I've seen some with like, with like Cyberpunk in there. So I think that all together creates this vibe. So if you wanna, you know, this one isn't really uh, customized too much actually. It's basically ready to go where I would just delete these two and then I would put whatever I want in there and then it will have the same vibe. So we'll go on Discord and we'll try it out. Slash imagine and then I'll get rid of these two and then I'll set the scene right here with something that we want to do. So what do we want to do? We do want it to be somewhere in the future. How about like an overgrown tropical island? Okay, for this one, we're going to do an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. So it's cinematic and we'll let it go. Okay, so here's what we got. I think these concepts already look really cool. So this the top right one I really like, bottom left one I also really like. This is definitely some like dystopian future stuff. This is really cool too. This one, not too much a fan of. These two are cool as well, but it's not nothing like these. The top right and bottom left are some really cool, well-designed ones like this. This is just cool framing. <laughs> like honestly, this, this has a lot going for it, like the building, the, like the background, the middle ground, and the foreground, and they all tell a different story. Like it's all unique to this image. So anyways, if you use this prompt, this looks good. Okay, now this is the last one. And I remember first time finding this one, I really liked it because it made me feel so nostalgic, but at the same time, it really connected the roots of like me, because like these colors are more of a Marvel color from like the 90s, like early 90s, maybe mid 90s, because that's when I, I started growing up. But the colors definitely remind me of that. But the art is so like Asian. So it's like both of my roots combining into this. But anyways, let's copy this prompt. Okay, so for this prompt, basically how it worked was these first ones set the scene, the lighting and the concept, but basically this is what drives the image. So like the last part of it drives this whole image. What you want to do here to copy this concept is to just copy this and then the front part, you can describe that story however way you want. So we'll go and imagine this and then this is what's driving it. And then we get to create this story now. So we could do something about like maybe somewhere in the past, ancient Chinese swordsman wandering overgrown forest on a bamboo forest or in a bamboo forest or maybe expansive overgrown expansive forest or bamboo forest okay send it out and let's see what we get okay so we got our photos and this is what it came out with okay so it seems like it's pretty focused on the samurai guy which makes sense given the prompt 
I was thinking it'd be something like the other one, but this is actually fitting for the prompt. So I do want to try something like the other one where it's like a small figure in a big landscape. So I'll change this a little bit. Imagine the prompt, paste that ancient, I'll do small ancient Chinese swordsman wandering overgrown expansive bamboo forest. Maybe even do an aerial view. Okay, 16 by nine, 16 by nine would also look pretty cool with this. Okay, one last render, 16 by nine. Ooh, I think this is gonna be good. Like these ones were cool, but they weren't really doing it. It's not expansive enough. Okay, this is what it came up with. I think this is cool. This first one especially, this first, this first one is legit. I'm upscaling that for sure. It's, this is really nice. There's just so much potential with this. That's why I like it. Okay, that's all the generations I have. Thanks for coming and I'll see you in the next video.